Hello there, my friends. Welcome to AW Versatile TV. I am Abdul Love and reporting for my own television. Today's news is the news from the health and medicines, and especially from the COVID-19. And it is a very unfortunate news for everyone. There is a three permanent side effects of COVID-19 that are pretty creepy, man. Over the last couple of months, scientists and researchers have deduced some alarming details about the survivors of the coronavirus flu, and that is long-term side effects. According to researchers, long haulers is the gay is the name actually given to those who have had the COVID-19 illness and live to tell tell, but with a carrot. They say many don't really get better, but are scared for life with different kinds of persistent damages or side effects, which could possibly be lifelong, hence the term long haulers. While fatigue, lung and kidney damage, and breathing difficulties are the most common of the damages wrecked by the coronavirus, some other side effects are less than common, but highly likely. Number one, among the three side effects, some patients with COVID-19 have persistent skin-related symptoms long after their initial infections has cleared. The team evaluated almost 1,000 cases of patients with skin manifestation of COVID-19. Among 224 total suspected cases and 90 laboratory confirmed cases of COVID-19 from 39 countries with information on symptom duration. The average duration of symptoms was 12 days. Rest like morbiform, rest like morbiliform, erupts lasted for a maximum duration of 28 days. And other things also happened. The redness, swelling of the feet and hands, commonly known as COVID toes lasted an average of 15 days in persons with suspected COVID-19 and 10 days in lab confirmed cases. This is not the actually permanent one. The rest too is the very alarming, serious and dangerous side effects. That number two is coronavirus may cause sudden permanent hearing loss in some persons. They say it while the causes are not very clear, the condition sometimes follows a viral infections such as flu or herpes. The research published in the journal BMJ case reports describes the case of a 45-year-old man with asthma who was referred to the Royal National Throat, Nose and Ear Hospital in the United Kingdom after suddenly experiencing hearing loss in one year while being treated for COVID-19. According to the scientists, the patient had been admitted to hospital with COVID-19 symptoms which had been going for 10 days during which he was transferred to intensive care as he was struggling to breathe. He was put on a ventilator for 30 days and developed other complications as a result. The study noted, the researchers noted that he was treated with the antiviral drug Remdesivir and intravenous steroids and a blood transfusions after which he started to get better. However, the patient noticed a ringing tinnitus in his left ear followed by sudden hearing loss in the year, a week after, the breathing tube was removed and he left intensive care. According to the scientist, he had lost his hearing or had ear problems before. He had not anything, any illness with his ear. And apart from asthma, he was otherwise fit and well. They said sars cov 2 virus binds to a particular type of cell linking the lungs and could also infect similar cells lining the middle ear. 
According to the scientists, the virus also generates an inflammatory response and an increase in the chemicals that have been linked to hearing loss. Given to the widespread presence of the virus in the population and the significant morbidity of hearing loss, it is important to investigate this further, the researchers wrote in their study. Then the third one is more important, an analysis of more than 80 studies reporting complications experienced by COVID-19 patients has revealed that about one third of them have abnormalities in the frontal lobe of their brain. We found more than 600 persons that were affected in this way before when we saw this in a small groups, we were not sure if this was just a coincidence, but now we can confidently say there is a connection, said Zulfi Hanif, Assistant Professor of Neurology at Bellard College of Medicine in the US. The scientists explained that patients are recommended an EEG test when they have a slowed reactions to stimuli followed by seizure-like events, species issues, confusion, inability to wake up after sedation. They said some of the EEG alterations found in COVID-19 patients may indicate damage to the brain that might not be repaired after recovering from the disease. Thank you dear friends for watching and listening.